What's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D. I'm lucky to work in that fantastic project, the CRM implementation in a company. CRM stands for Customer Relation Management System. Since a few weeks, marketing is complaining that their mass mailing is sometimes stopped or blocked. So we went after the incident and we fixed it. But of course, now it's repeating, so we need to have a deep look at it to really understand what's going on. And for this, we are using what we call cause-effect diagram, or you can call it fishbone diagram or Ishikawa diagram, named after the author of this method. I'm Christian from Vision 60, and it's what I'm going to show you right now. So we start by the head of the fish in which we describe the incident. And then we are going to define a complete set of categories that we want to analyze causes. Or better said, we brainstorm on what could be the causes and we'll see that some categories will come out and we'll try to put the causes into those different categories. So what are the kinds of categories that we use? We find usually manpower, meaning that do people, for example, have the knowledges they, they need? Do they communicate well? After that, we could have the method, and on the method you can also understand the process that are in use. And then the machines, but by machines you can really mean machines in the industry, in the service environment, it can be systems. And then after you have all the context in which evolves this company or the project, you can have measurements. Do we measure well? Are our measures accurate? And another point that can be material in the industry is the iron we are using, for example, of enough good quality. These are examples. We have now defined our categories and we will now define the different causes. The team talks together, brainstorms on the different topics that could be a cause, and then we organize them into the different categories. Like that, you are building the fish bone and the skeleton of that fish structure. It's not necessary to use all those categories. You will adapt them to your context. You can have less than what I showed here, or you could even have more of them. It's important to do the things as a team. And you see behind me, we had people from IT and from the marketing. Now they are relaxing because we found a solution to this issue. You see our colleague, she is preparing emails for the mass mailing and uh, she's sending them. And from time to time she's upset because the system is simply blocking. So we are going now to look at the diagram of our system. The system is composed of, you recognize, the work environment of our colleague. She is working with the CRM system, which is a set of applications that are on different servers. This environment is composed of virtual machines and it's what is abbreviated VMs, virtual machines. After the, the marketing systems, they are sending this to the mail servers. And it's a set of servers which are again virtual machines. And that set of server has in between or is sharing what is called a SAN, that is to say uh, storage area network array 
This is an environment in which you share common hard disks among all the applications. On that kind of systems, you find applications, databases, servers, and all the kinds of systems that will be used in the company. Now, the server is sending this through the mail server to the customer which are over internet, over the web. The servers are sending the mails to the customer and everything goes fine, but at a certain moment, for an unknown reason, this is blocked and stays stuck into the server. To correct this, we restarted the servers, but since it's repeating, we had to go through that analysis we are doing now. The categories we use for our RCA root cause analysis are first of all people. Was there a lack of communication, of understanding how to operate the system, either on the IT side or on the marketing side? So for this we had some possible causes. Was it in the method we were using? or maybe in the equipment was something wrong with the hardware or with the software. Then the material, in our case, it was the emails themselves. Emails were composed of multimedia. We were sending videos to our customer. So did it have something to do with the volume of those emails or how they were constituted? Then we also thought of the external environment, what was the surrounding of our systems, was there something wrong? And we added a category which is management. So the outcome of the discussion with the, the team was first to discuss whether we were lacking some knowledges. But this wasn't the, the case. Then we discussed the, the process and it's true that for the marketing people they were sending blindly and there was there were no uh, logs available at the IT. One thing that we found out was a shortening in disk space and this was really the, the issue. We knew that uh, we had already uh, some issues ongoing with the sun storage. And for this, we had a new proposal and it was lacking approval at that moment by the uh, department manager, the IT department manager. This was the main cause of this situation. There were other points that we also looked at. As I said, we wondered whether the email wasn't too complicated or too big. This came mainly from the marketing department. And then, of course, we also thought about viruses and even hacking of our servers. This could be a situation. To summarize our situation, from all those points, we found out that we were missing hard disk space. And for this, we had already a quotation that was ready for a new sun. We were waiting for the approval of the department manager. With all that information, with people from marketing convinced about this, we know that the solution is to provide and install a new sun system in our uh, working environment. This explains that the people of the marketing and the IT were really relaxed and they went to have a break together and to enjoy a relaxed time after that brainstorming session. With that I showed you how to use the root cause analysis. Nevertheless, when you have complex issues like we had here, we used also another method, which is called the five whys. We are continuously asking questions like why. So we cannot send emails. Why? We have an issue with the server. Why? We are missing some storage space. Why? 
because our sun is actually saturated, so the solution is buy a new one. Why haven't we bought a new one? Because it's waiting approval from the IT department manager. So you see, in that case, from a first issue that was a technical one, we cannot send email, the servers have an issue, IT should fix it. We slowly move down with the five why, with the repeating of why, to a management issue. We were waiting the approval of the order of a new sun in order for the IT people to install it and to configure it in our environment with the CRM. With that, we know now that people from marketing and IT will be really happy because they know how to solve that complex issue. So, now you know more about root cause analysis and the 5Y method. You enjoyed it? You can sum up. If you haven't done till now, subscribe to the channel. This is really helpful. Share it with your friends. And of course, questions and comments are really welcome. So I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.